Okay, the octagon hip rafter layout. We'll need to set our framing square to 8 over 12.98. 12.98 is our unit length. Starting from point A, your framing point, and going to B, your building line, that'll be your mathematical rafter length, and that'll be your total run of 12 feet times your unit length of 15.23, giving you a mathematical length of 15 feet, 2 and 3 quarters inch. From your building line to your fascia line, that's your overhang. Total run is 2 feet times your unit length of 15.23. Mathematical length of 2 feet 6 and 7 sixteenths. Okay, your seat cut. That's your height above plate line. I think this example is 7 inches. And now your ridge setback. So there's multiple conditions for this. Let's take a look at sheet E5 and examine this a little bit closer. Oh, we've got several different ones. We've got number one. You can see that in 3D view. And here it is in plan view. This is the area highlighted in red. Now there are some knowns here. We know angle A is known, and we know dimension B is known. Angle A is 45, dimension B is an inch and three quarters. So to solve for A, we can use our trigonomic method there. There are simpler ways of finding this dimension. This is just an opportunity to work out this trigonometry method. Okay, so there's known B and A. We want to solve for A. So it's simply B times the tangent of the angle. And that's one and three quarters. So we've done the square root method before. And basically, you know, in a right triangle, whatever B is, A is the same thing. So, All right, so after number two, we want to solve for C. So using our trigonometry table, once again, C equals B divided by the cosine of angle A, and the result is two and a half inches. So that's the setback for rafter two. For rafter three, you can see they go just directly to the framing point, so there is no setback. Next is the planter cut, and we've talked about all this before. That's just your fascia height. It's whatever you want it to be. And your cheek cut, it's a double 45 degree bevel cut, half the rafter thickness. We've done this before, but this is just another way of looking at it. So this would be A that we're going to be solving for. You can either solve for this using the trigonometry method or the methods that we've used in the past. Your tail cut, your rafter thickness times the tangent of the working angle. Working angle is 22.5. That's angle B. We know what A is. It's an inch and three quarters. And we want to solve for B. So there's the formula. A times the tangent of B will give you a result of three quarters of an inch. And as you remember, you can either do the drop hip or you can do the chamfer cut. If you choose to do the drop hip, we're going to use this formula. You can use your appendix for a quick reference guide on that. You'll notice on the examples for the appendix, they may not be the same as the example we're working on. In this case, the rafter stock is an inch and a half, so the result is 5 16 So that's going to be different than the octagon rafter example we've been working on.
right, this is your chamfer cut. It's the same formula as your drop hip. Here's a detail view. Remember, we're using three and a half inch stock, so half the thickness will be an inch and three quarters. So that's why we're coming up with a result of seven sixteenths of an inch. And here's how you get your chamfer saw cut angle. The result is 14.30 degrees, so you set your saw blade angle to that and cut along the top. This is a 3D model of an octagon. These are the walls in gray. This is the plan view. So we're going to put rafter number three in place first. This goes from your framing point in the center to the edge of your building line. And we'll mirror the same thing on the other side. So these two rafters butt up to one another, as you can see in the 3D view. Next, we'll put in rafter number one. From the framing point, using your setback of an inch and three quarters to the building line. And the same thing on the other side. And there's a 3D view of that. You can see how that butts up. Okay, and then we're going to do rafters designated number two. And these have the bevel angle. And there'll be a total of four of these. That's a look at the tail cut there, in case you forgot what that looks like. And your 3D view. And we'll put the final two in place and be done with this. All right, that was easy. Here's a 3D view of that. And we're done with this project. And this ends this phase of our journey together. We laughed a little, we cried a little, we learned that math is your friend, and that a raptor is just a stupid piece of wood that we are generally smarter than, although I have known some people, but that's a conversation for another day. I hope you've got something out of this series. If I manage to sell a few copies, I may move on to the second part. Please feel free to give me your feedback on my website. Remember, keep your saw blade sharp and try not to shoot yourself in the foot with a nail gun. <laughs>